Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and this amazing video. I am Aditya. So in this video, I am going to introduce to you a package I have developed, which is a uh, like very interesting package. It's a JavaScript package or an NPM package. Uh, you can also use it via CDN. So it is just as uh, like with just one line of code, you can have a user icon with the initials of the username. So let me show you an example. So here, if you see in my browser, I have an icon with my image over here, this one. So we will have a package which will just create exactly the same icon, but instead of image, we will just pass a name to it and certain parameters, and it will generate an icon for us with the initials. So the package name, if you go to npmjs.com or even on GitHub repo, I will give the link of that. So this is an open source package. So if you want to contribute to it and make it more like amazing or more fantastic, please do so. I'm very happy uh, to have contribution from your side. Uh, so it's very simple to use. So first thing we need to do if we are using NPM, we just download it. And before this, I would like to mention that this package is framework independent. So you can use it in any framework. It doesn't matter. You can use it in uh, plain JavaScript, jQuery, or Vue, React, Angular, Svelte, anything like literally anything as long as you can use npm as long as you can use cdn that's fine and as long as you can use javascript so of course the client side not the node chairs <laughs> so this is all about it so let me first install it using npm so i'll just go over here copy the command and just hit enter so this will uh like install the package for me and as it is installing we'll just wait for a moment and okay so that's done so let's close the terminal and now let's go back again over here so it's very easy to use all you need a parent html where you want your icon to be rendered so main uh, parameters or main uh, keys that we need to pass is the parent element and the name that's it all other things are default so if you go in the options you will see like what options are required and then what options are default so let's go over here and let's create like uh in my next tab so if you haven't seen the next uh, tutorial please do watch it i will put in the link in the description so in this app i have a header this is a responsive menu actually and here after about i want my user icon to be rendered so what i'm going to do i'll just copy this and just paste it over here because it's nothing but the list item and uh, instead of about i'll just keep it blank right or rather like forward slash and i'll just do like i'll just put a div over here like this so say div and i will say uh with id of user icon okay so now if i save this it will just uh build it again and then you will have something blank over here so now as we have installed our package so the first thing we need to make sure that this to use this package on a load if you are not using it on a button click or if you are not calling the function on a button click then you need to make sure that the dom contents are loaded well before you can use this okay so let's first import the package so if i say import user initial from Oh, no, just are the user initials. initials yeah that's the one so as you could see like we just need to import it and then just use it so i will go over here and in my setup function as i'm using composition api with next so i'm writing it in a setup function i would just need to say all mounted so this will make sure that our dom content is loaded I will call a callback over here, uh, just like this. And all I need to do is just use that function. So I'll say user initial, then a JSON object. In that, I will pass a key value pair. So it first would be my name or the name of the user who is logged in. I'm just hard coding the value here, but you can pass the value in like a dynamic value, that's fine. So it's a string, it can be any string, just to make sure that it's a either email address, username, or the full name, something like that. Then we need to pass the parent element, as I said, the root. So this in this case, uh, you need to give the ID if you are using ID, 
if you are using class then you need to give the class name and here i would just say as an id i will say hashtag user icon after this like once i have the user icon then i can pass the optional parameter so let's first use the required parameter and let's see what we are getting so if i go back again over here and let it load and so we have our user icon or rather my user icon with my initial so now let me change the color of it so if i want to change the color let's say i want to change the background color i can say background uh, color and it takes a hex value rgb value or a string doesn't matter so i'm going to give a let's say a string color string so it will be a green uh, font color uh, let me give any any random font color so i want to give a font color of say uh, blue <laughs> or let's do black yeah let's do black and do i want it to be like bolder or something like that i can also make it bold so i just need to give font weight so i'll say font weight and how much it should be so it's actually should be like something 700 or 9 let's do 900 like super bold 900 is the max so let's go over here let it load and now we have okay so we did something wrong so it should be background color i guess i misspelled it something yes uh, it shouldn't be background color it should be background so background uh sorry over here and it's my package and i'm only making mistakes so if i go back again over here and we have a green color and a black uh, black font and a green background i can make it white as well and let's go back again and let's see yes we have it we can also change the height and width of it so i can do height maybe uh 30px i can make it a bit smaller as well width 30px as a circle so it looks more good if the width and height are same so if i save it again go back again over here it's a small icon i can also reduce the font size so i can say font size and it's again gonna be in px rem doesn't matter so i'll just give it in px so i'll say 10px and let it load and if i see the font is small so you can use this and as you could see with just like one line of code or just one function you have your user icon rendered properly so uh, please do use this package and also if you want to contribute on the uh, in this so you can fold this from the github repo i'll put the link in the description for the package as well as the github repo uh, and if you feel like this package is worth giving a star on github so please give it a star as well uh, share with the net share with your network <laughs> And yeah, that's it from my side. So hope you enjoy this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed to it. Give a thumbs up if you like this video and share this video with your network if you feel it's worth sharing. So that's all from me. Till the next time. Goodbye.